This is a permanent magnet motor which solves the sticking point problem. It is made of ceramic magnets placed in stacks. There is eight magnets at the beginning. This stack has the strongest repulsion field. At the end is only one magnet. This has the least repulsive force. The rotor moves from the most repulsive to the least repulsive force. The magnets sit on wood to give them all the same height. The magnet stacks are taped to a cardboard strip. Then the strip is formed into a circle. A piece of wood is placed in the center to hold the rotor shaft. The rotor consists of an Atlantico bar magnet taped to a piece of wood. The red side is the weak repulsive field. The all black side is the strongest field. There is a gap on this side of the circle because the magnetic field from the strong side extends about halfway across the gap. There is no point in closing the gap with magnets because one or two magnets would have their fields overpowered by the eight magnet stack. For the first spinning, I force the rotor into the strong repulsive field and release it, and it spins around till it reaches the gap. To repeat the process, I have to again force it into the strong field. The trouble with this is the energy used to force the rotor into the field is the same amount of energy one gets from the rotor spinning, so there is no energy gain this way. As I said, the gap is the sticking point. Now I have a simple way around this sticking point. This is done by lifting the rotor up and moving it to a point above the strong magnetic field of the eight magnets, then dropping it. Gravity pulls the rotor down into the field far enough to propel it around. It takes energy to lift the rotor, but I lift it only one and three quarter inches and move it over two inches. This is a total of three and three quarters inches. The rotor, however, is spun around for a distance of 20 inches. The rotor is moved over four times further by the magnetic field. Clearly there is a potential there for a net energy gain. When the rotor is spun around it drops in height as the magnetic fields get weaker. At the end it has to be raised up again at the gap to repeat the process.